Hi friends. We are here to start new session to know more about Siemens Engineering Automation Software Toolbox 2. It is used to database configuration of Siemens Sikkim products. This product is most powerful and reliably used for control and monitoring applications. It is used within Substation Automation Power Generation Energy Distribution Oil and Gas Water Management Railway Applications now first of all we will talk about racks used within automation system. Where you can insert modules and power supplies. There are three different types of racks based on size used within automation system. CM2844 basic board rack with 9 slots. CM2846 basic board rack with 17 slots. CM2848 basic board rack with 17 slots. CM2843 expansion board rack with 16 slots. CM2847 Migration Board Rack with 17 Slot Racks serves for the equipment of basic modules and peripheral modules. Slots are predefined for redundant basic modules. Expansion Board Racks used for expansion of input and outputs within automation system. The basic board rack CM2844 has 9 slots for modules and 2 slots for power supplies in format. It serves for the equipment of basic and peripheral modules. There are fixed predefined slots support redundancy within automation unit. Slots defined with the numbering like C0, C1, C2, C3. This board is bigger version of CM2844 with 17 slots for modules and 2 slots for power supplies. Expansion board rack CM2843 has 16 slots for modules and 2 slots for power supplies. It serves for the equipment of basic modules and peripheral modules. The Migration Board Rack CM2847 has 17 slots for modules and 2 slots for power supplies. It serves for the equipment of basic modules and peripheral modules. An automation unit consists of the following parts. Board Racks 2 Power Supply Modules 1 Master Control Element 16 Processing and Communication Elements 68 Protocol Elements which is used to interfaces with individual communication protocol like Modbus Profibus, IC101, IC103, IC104, IC61850, DNP. Four protocol elements on the master control unit. Four protocol elements for each processing and communication element. Overall up to 272 peripheral elements. 16 peripheral elements on the master control unit. 16 peripheral elements for each processing and communication element. We all need to know about the requirement of project before design the automation unit. Here you can see the rack overview. Case 1. Power supplies within rack. Master control elements. Protocol elements. Peripheral elements within rack. Case 2. Power supplies within rack. Master control elements. Protocol elements. Peripheral elements within rack. There is another rack connected by AX bus external and that rack you can see peripheral elements. That rack is migration rack. Applications where the automation unit is used. Power generation. Transportation. Industrial power systems. Microgrid. Railway traction power supply. Tunnel automation. Oil and gas pipelines. Here we will talk about primary functions of Toolbox 2. OPM2 is the central engineering software. It is used for data modeling, where you can create signals within process technique. After create signals you can transform it into system technique they will assign automatically within peripheral modules defined within automation unit. There are some additional functions within software they make it powerful and reliable. Data distribution center, it is used to import or export the backup with engineering station. CAX Plus, where you can write logics according to IEC 61131-3 within automation unit, you required hardware key to access the module. Parameter loading, it is used for download the complete configuration into automation unit. Firmware loading, it is used for firmware of automation unit modules. Diagnosis, you can see errors within automation unit and communication stations failure. Data flow test, it is used for assured data is out for the defined station. Customer, where you can define the identification of customer. Message simulation, you can simulate the message within automation unit. Revision interrogation, it is used to check the firmware within automation unit and engineering station. Kex Plus online test, 
It is used for testing purpose during commissioning you don't require any keys to access this module. Plan management, where database of entire project is managed like customer parameters and others. Topology test, it is used to identify correct data receive and sending within stations. Master data update, you can update the firmware with an engineering station through this module. Online maintenance function, it is used to check if is there any firmware shutdown and from this function you can restart the services of particular module within automation unit. SD emulation, it is used to check some internal detail diagnosis of automation unit after use some commands. Help, option is savior during breakdown. Thanks for watching us and don't forget to subscribe.